Detective Footprints. We are talking about Monta Bot. Her husband has been charged with concealing his wife's body. He will appear in court on Friday and ask to be let out on bond. Monta was 28 years old, and the last time she was seen was in July of 2024. They were only together for three years and had a one-year-old daughter. He has yet to be charged with murder. His trial will begin on December 9th with a pre-hearing trial set for November 20th. He was the last person to see his wife alive. Before her disappearance, officers had conducted a wellness check for her at the couple's home on August 2nd and spoke to her husband, who did not want to report her missing at the time. He formally reported Monta missing to police on August 5th. Since then, police executed search warrants on the couple's home and found evidence of pooled blood in the master bedroom and blood spatter in the master bedroom. Investigators also found signs suggesting a body had been dragged through the house. Nobody wants him out on bond. They want him to stay behind bars, yet he refuses to tell them what he did with Monta. Up next, from ABC 7 News, they are speaking about this case. Let's take a look. New evidence revealed in court today in the case of missing Manassas Park mother, Mamta Kofle Bot. Prosecutors laid out why they say her husband, Naresh, needs to stay in jail until his trial. 7 News' Christian Flores breaks down the new information, talking with a former prosecutor about what this means for both sides. I think we have to start with two words, bond denied. Yay! A brief moment of relief from friends of Mamta Kafle Bot. Say her name? Mamta. After a judge ruled her husband, Naresh, must stay in jail while awaiting trial. But that relief was undercut by the new details shared in court on Friday. It's been stated into evidence that she was murdered, dismembered, and disposed of like garbage. And I have news for you. She's not garbage. Prosecutors laid out evidence revealed for the first time. They say on July 30th and 31st, cameras captured Naresh dropping heavy-duty trash bags in different dumpsters and trash compactors around Northern Virginia while also buying knives. Then on August 1st, prosecutors say he went to a Loudoun County gas station to drop something in a clothing donation box, with police saying what he dropped off was a blood-stained bath mat. This location was also the last place Mamta's phone pinged. Prosecutors also say a canine cadaver dog detected a dead body in the primary bedroom and bathroom of the bot's home. We've all wanted to know where Mamta was, when are we going to get her back, where are we going to find her, where we've been searching, and the truth is we're not going to get her back. There's a lot of video evidence. There's a lot of geolocation evidence. Uh, they'll try to connect him with uh, her body at the last cellular location. John Fishwick is a former prosecutor and tells 7 News this is all compelling evidence. And I'm sure the prosecution is looking at this on two levels. One, they're looking feverishly for that body, sadly. Uh, they hope they find it. But I think they're also expecting that they may not find the body between now and the trial. So I'm sure they'll be fully prepared to go forward with forensic evidence. During Friday's hearing, Naresh's lawyers repeatedly stated there's no evidence that Mamta is even dead. I think what the defense argument will be is, A, that there, at least so far there's been nobody found, that they haven't found Mrs. Biden. They do not know if she's alive or dead. They'll try to say on the other evidence that this is just normal. He went to dispose of some trash. He disposed of some towels. It's going to be uphill. The jury doesn't leave their common sense at the door. 